The Google Cloud Platform requires a huge learning curve, and part of that learning curve is understanding how you are charged for different services. I released a video that explains how you can host a website on the Google Cloud Platform for free by taking advantage of their free cloud compute tier. However, there is one charge that I promise to explain, and that is network pricing. On the free tier, any network usage above the first gigabyte will be charged at a certain rate depending on where your web server is located and where your website visitors are coming from. In this video, I'll explain how network pricing works and give you an estimate as far as how much you might expect to pay for this every month. Let's have a look. What's really cool about Google Cloud is that any network traffic coming into your web server is 100% free. In other words, there is no charge for incoming data. Google uses the terminology ingress to categorize this pricing. And as far as I can tell, this is free across all Google Cloud products. The catch here is that you will be charged for data that leaves your server. So when someone requests a page on your website, this network traffic will be added to your monthly total. Google calls this egress pricing. Let's get into some numbers here and I'll warn you, this might get a little confusing, but I'll do my best to explain things clearly for you. Depending on how much monthly data you use, where your server is located and where the data is going, there are different prices. For example, if your server is located anywhere within the Americas, Europe, or East Asia, your first terabyte of data that goes anywhere in the world except Australia and China is charged at a rate of 12 cents per gigabyte. The next nine terabytes is charged at 11 cents per gigabyte and anything over 10 terabytes is charged at eight cents per gigabyte. For some reason, these prices are essentially doubled for data that leaves your server and goes to China and slightly less for traffic to Australia. In addition to this, you'll see different rates for Northeast Asia, Southeast Asia, and Australia. So pricing generally starts around 12 cents per gigabyte for servers located in the US, which is where I'm located, and that doesn't sound too bad, right? Well, let's crunch some numbers. Given that the average size of a web page is around 1.4 megabytes according to the HTTP archive, this means that if your website sees 10,000 page views per month, you'll end up being billed for 14 gigabytes of data, which is $1.68 per month coming out of your pocket. This of course assumes that your traffic originates from outside Australia and China. Now, if your website gets 1 million page views per month, you'll pay $166 for egress data, $120 for the first terabyte and $44 for the next 400 gigabytes. Now keep in mind that this is pricing just for outgoing network traffic. In situations where you are not taking advantage of the free tier, websites will typically have to pay hosting fees on top of this. So as you can see, the Google Cloud Platform is one of the most premium hosting infrastructures available today, and this does not come without a cost. Check out some of my other Google Cloud videos over here. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.